Hi everyone, hope you guys are doing well. Um, today we'll be doing a quick review and install of 300R Thule gutter pack for the rain for the rain gutters here. And the second one we'll be doing is Evo Black 150, about 60 inches uh, to go on top um, for the Jeep Wrangler JL 2019 Unlimited Edition. And um, I've just purchased them with an intention of uh, using them for a temporary basis if I were to go out camping and put a roof tap, uh, rooftop tent as such. I don't want to drill my sweet and boxy hard top. Get them attached. You can certainly use it for kayaks or anything, accessories as such. And then of course, um, what I know is that you can also use them for temporary rooftop tents. So let's see how it goes. And I'll quickly show you the packaging. All right, so this is how it looks. I got, this is called um, Thule Rapid Gutter Foot Pack. Um, for vehicles with rain gutters i'm using it on cheap wrangler jl uh, nice and then i've got this the same matching black color it's called bing bar evo 150 black premium aerodynamic um aluminium load bars for an exceptionally quiet ride so 16 inches i know the standard i checked on their website sort of made in sweden i checked it on their website they said um, that this gutter pack Gutter foot pack. I got the low uh, low profile one. The lowest I guess it's six inches, not the uh, tallest one. The tallest one is I guess eleven or twelve inches long. Uh, and just to make sure that I'm still able to move my Jeep in and out of my garage without taking them off all the time. So that's the plan. All right, and before I forget, quickly the the rapid gutter foot pack, the low profile one. I guess it's six inches. Costed me about two hundred eighty Canadian in Canada, of course, and then dollars in Canada and the other one which is wing bar Evo 150 black like pair a sort of two or pair costed me about 290 Canadian again once you open the box you get all this set um, seems sturdy construction um, with a sticker kind of a logo so one two three four of the hooks I guess and then you got all these parts the instructions seem very clear um, this you have to mount so I'll be mounting them and show you soon but um, I didn't so that's about the foot pack or the gutter pack I guess I got the lock or the key mechanism which is nice to have so four of everything four screws four of that to mount and this goes right here on top like this and then on the arrow wing bars I got uh, nice this is much better branding I got two of the arrow bars, two of these and two of these and four plastic parts and the four caps for two sides each. I have given how the how it has to work in terms of instructions. So we get to get this ready for the first time and then we will mount this thing together. We'll get this ready. This is your size preference. You can place them on top of each wing bar. And then after that we will put on mount them on these and then everything goes together on the rooftop and um, and you can actually measure if you like in certain sizes or dimension i would prefer to keep them somewhere here and here uh, still i will still um, it will still uh, allow my um, these things to take off i can i can take off my panels or rooftops whenever i want make it nice and breezy but i'll try to restrict from here till here for now so this one is pretty simple basically I take a screw and take one of these and pass it on from underneath the screw goes from here till outside and then I use a washer on top over here and then um, so before sorry before I use this it will go like this both of them together the screws go underneath it comes out from here put a washer and then of course tighten it with this thing just clockwise it'll it'll do the job and of course you mount this thing on the top uh, like this so it just clicks in right there um, once you plug it in so basically you get uh, this kind of shape when you do one pack all right uh, guys we are all set with four of the packs i'll be moving on to the bars keep you posted from there move these cutter packs inside the wing bars first from both the sides in the t bars like and then 
put the rubber the rubber thing over there on the top of the wing bars and then uh, close both the caps and that's about it then you go ahead and mount them on top seems pretty easy let's see how it goes so quick tip once you are trying to slide this into within the underneath of the wing bars um, if it is tight it doesn't go so you have to loosen them up and then try to move them inside so it goes smooth there all right guys i encountered a problem the most funny part was that i was trying to install these strips but i couldn't really figure out how to get this installed no matter how much ever you press or whichever angle you press it doesn't go inside and then i realized that you can actually break them into two kind of just tear them apart into two from here there was no instructions given for this just a small step but like i was trying to press hard and hard and trying how it will go inside it was just not moving in so just a small tip tear them apart before you press them in so i place them on top tightening them up it's pretty simple this one goes outside the cutter and this goes inside the cutter uh, it has got nice rubbery feel so it won't really damage anything here so you are safe in those dumps i also used as a standard measurement so I'm taking sort of uh, from the starting till the end of this strip as you see. All right, and this key over here is some sort of a lock or key mechanism. So I just tried, um, you know, turning it up on, on the other side with my screwdriver here and it doesn't go back, uh, let's say clockwise. So I guess it's some sort of a key or tightening security in place, which is nice to have with the same case either ways. I don't know what it does but again I don't notice any difference from this oh, yeah I think it's fine now. it's not easy to go anti lock yeah I think it's some sort of a key but I'm not too sure you might want to check I'll check on Thule website as well but there is something which changes for sure it doesn't go anti lock let me show you the clearance out of my garage door I think that's it guys. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching.